everyone, this is Yadi. I hope you all are doing really good and happily practicing with backend zoo. Guys, in my previous video, I have shown you how to optimize processing of your backtest using parallel processing feature of backend zoo. So parallel processing feature of backend zoo, it splits your test logically and it try to process all the steps parallelly in order to save the time. I will also post the video link on the description box so that you can connect the dots. Now in this video, I'm going to showcase you how do you assess that as per your system, which parallel processing count will suit you best for your backtesting. This might be a little bit long procedure at the start, but once you find which parallel processing suits your system precisely, it will be easier for you to optimize the backtest processing, wherein your CPU is intact as well as you're getting faster backtest output. Now this parallel processing, it depends on various factors such as RAM, storage space and CPU. So make sure that you have these three in hand so that you can enhance the parallel processing, right? So in case if you want to check your device specification, how you can do that, just click here, type this PC, click on it, just right click on this PC, click on properties, and herein you will find your device specification. So it's a basic uh, specification computer that is i3 with 8 GB RAM, right? So this is how you find out your device specification. Now to increase the load, I am enabling these many portfolios, right? So these portfolios I have enabled in order to increase the load. So before you perform back test, just open the task manager. Click here right task manager open it okay so task manager is a place which tells you how much cpu usage that process is eating up so how it gonna impact we'll see okay so just recalibrate i have enabled these many portfolios so just recalibrate and i'll run it for uh, more than three years of uh, time so from 2019 to 2023 i am running this test mode click on this and if you have a good specification computer you can try it with 16 parallel count okay uh, or if it exceeds while back testing if it exceeds 80 percent of the cpu usage then that means that 16p or 12p is not best suited for your back testing, right? So it's a little bit long procedure at the start, but if you find your best parallel processing count, then it will be easier for you to optimize the back test processing, right? So I am trying because my is a basic specification computer. So I am trying out with, let's say, uh, 5p parallel processing. Just click on enter, right? And just check your task manager if it exceeds if the cpu usage exceeds more than 80 percent then this clearly indicates that that particular parallel count is not best suited right so if you see here it is a uh, hundred percent cpu right so usage so that means 5p is not best suited for my device specification so i'll just stop this and we'll try out with a little lower parallel processing count so let's say you can try out with three parallel processing count okay so i'll just again run the back test mode but this time i'll run it with 3p count press enter right and then again we'll check the task manager if it exceeds 80% of the CPU usage, then that means even 3P is not best suited for your device specification for performing the back test, right? So I'll just click here to see the CPU usage, 99%, right? So that means even 3P is not best suited for my, this basic device specification, okay? So I'll just stop this uh, run. Okay, now I'll try out with 1P, okay? 1P, just click on OK button. Now we'll check the task manager for its CPU usage. 
So if you see here that it's not exceeding 80% of the CPU usage, right? So this clearly shows that 1P is best suited for my backtesting, for my device specification backtesting. So I hope you like this video. If yes, don't forget to smash like button. Bye-bye. Stay tuned.